Hey guys, it's Jake with AG Russell Knives. I'm joined here with Kyle. How's it going, guys? He's our warehouse master. Today we are going over the AG Russell Rancher Lockback. This is a new redesign from the uh, 2011 version. Kyle, tell us a little bit about the uh, handle options we got here. Okay, we've got uh, three options as far as the handle is concerned on this uh, new redesign. Uh, two of them are natural materials, the brown jig bone and the smooth white bone, mm -hmm. and both of those come in at $59.95. And then we've got an ebony Delrin that comes in at $54.95. Synthetic material, a little bit easier to deal with. Yeah, yeah. Um, so a little bit of a price drop there. Right. Um, features, yeah. Jake, what we got? So this is this is based on the Sodbuster design. Um, AG's favorite Sodbuster design was always Ibrand out of Germany. Um, really cool little knife, and so he's he's designed a few of these. Uh, Kyle, bring over the uh, Sodbuster Junior here. Kind of yep. give you a little size comparison. There you go. So you can see very similar in size here. Um, the blade's a little bit wider, uh, but similar, very similar in the in the handle. Thickness, handle, length. I think ours is maybe just a smidge wider on the handle, but it's really less than an eighth of an inch. It's pretty, it's pretty close. <laughs> but really, really cool in life. So we have a number of differences in this redesign. Um, customers over this over the years have said, "I love the the Sodbuster. I love the Rancher." I would just wish it had a lock. So we've added a lock back to this traditionally slip joint knife. Slip joints. Yeah, they have their place for sure. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, a lot of people like the extra security of that lock. Um, if you're not real experienced with knives, you know, a lock is mm -hmm. always a good thing. Using um, it real hard. Yeah. yeah. Um, so little, added the lock back that gives it a bias to closure. So it's always wanting to, to snap shut on you. And so it's not opening in the pocket. And also this, this uh, lock back allows us to have a smoother uh, pivot here, so it's, the action is smoother. We've added a um, long nail nick, and that allows you to open it one-handed. So with that smoother action and the long nail nick, take the uh, pad of your thumb and put it into the long nail nick. It's got some grip on it right there, and you just open it one-handed. The nail nick is on both sides, both sides, left and right hand. It has a deep pocket clip. That clip is reversible. So left-handers rejoice. Yeah! It has a federal shield and liner locks. Those are both stainless steel. You can see on the inside, we have a striker pin right there. And let's see if I can get it to focus here. There we go, striker pin right there. That striker pin hits the tang of the blade as it closes, and that allows you to shut it without worrying about it hitting the, the back lock bar. So your edge is perfectly safe from the hump on the pivot on the lock bar there. And so there's no give in the blade if you're pushing down on it, it's not gonna bounce, it's not bouncing on the, on the spring there. That allows us to have a much wider blade, and that's, why, that's one of the reasons why we can get a wider blade than the Sodbuster Junior. So really, really neat little knife. Definitely the uh, jig bone has my, it's probably my favorite, I would say. Yeah, they did a really good job of, number one, the pattern, and number two, getting the color throughout. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of times you have issues getting it all the way to the edges. Um, your, your material just, when you get to the edges of the material, it just doesn't take the dye super well. Mm -hmm. um, so you end up with kind of a, a discoloration all around the edge of the knife. Uh, but they did a really good job on this one. You can see really cleaned out on the inside. We've got yep. some milling on the liners that help helps lighten up the knife. Yep. All of these are real light, uh, under 2.5 ounces each. Yeah. yeah. And at a blade length of 3 and 1 eighth inches, you have that nice inch to ounce ratio on your knife. Which one's your favorite, Kyle? Uh, you know, I... I like the look of the brown jig bone, but I've always been a fan of uh, the smooth white bone, mm. just that that kind of look. And and the more you handle uh, that material, it gets uh, a color to it, kind of a darker I really color. Like that, uh, just the oil from your hands mm. and everything just kind of uh, helps that kind of get a 
distinct color the more mm -hmm. you handle it. So I, I've always really enjoyed the smooth white bone. Kind of takes on that ivory type of yeah. sheen to it. I've yeah. been doing that with a, a white bone stockman I have. Yeah. It's kind of getting that yellowish ivory sheen to it, like that old. Yeah, it's always bone. a it's yeah. always a good handle material. Mm -hmm. Well, guys, that about wraps it. Oh, uh, no, actually, we're going to do a pocket dump. Surprise pocket dump, yeah. Kyle. What, what do you got? I what have do you today? today the A.G. Russell boot style knife clip point blade. I got this as a groomsman gift at my uh, friend's wedding. And I may have had some input on what he was getting for <laughs> groomsmen's gifts, and it was a great choice. <laughs> Uh, really handy, thin little uh, everyday fixed blade carry. Um, definitely, I mean, it feels solid. It's lightweight. The handles, it's not going to be a camp knife. The handle is a little small. You're not going to want to be like carving walking sticks out of it. But for the general everyday fixed blade use, it's a great little knife. Definitely one of my favorite fixed blades. And I also have the... Uh, Kershaw Natrix. Uh, I think this was, I think it was a limited run. I don't think you, we have this anymore, but we have some different versions. Like we have a lot of different versions of yeah. the Natrix in right now. Uh, it's a really popular model this mm -hmm. year. Ball bearings on the pivot, so super smooth opening. Um, I think this one was 45, and most of them are below that. I most believe. of them run between 30 and 50, depending on what yeah, you're... Yeah, there's a copper version. Yeah, there's... The copper version is pretty cool. Yeah, there's several different ones. And that I copper think, version gets the kind of... Nice yeah, it gets it. the kind of I've been thinking same. about that one. Yeah. But I already own one version, so maybe, maybe. Yeah. There's so many to buy. Yeah. What do you got, Kyle? Uh, let's see. Today I am dealing with a... Benchmade Valet, which is one of my uh, favorites to carry. Uh, it's just a, a lightweight little knife. Um, uses Benchmade's axis lock. Mm -hmm. I um, like the size on it. Yeah, they don't it, make many small knives. They don't. Um, and, and I'm always, as a lefty, I'm always a fan yeah. of something I can open and close the, with the either hand. hand. Lock the nice. axis lock is nice. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I, I'm usually. Uh, a fan of smaller knives, mm -hmm. especially at work, um, just because I, you know, wear slacks every once in a while and that kind of thing. And we usually uh, have a big knife close to hand, anyways. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> there's a lot of knives lying around around there here. Is. Um, but uh, it's got deep pocket clip. Of course, mm -hmm. we're you know same as the uh, rancher here. Uh, so yeah, definitely something we we uh, enjoy around here. And then uh, I've also got this uh, A.G. Russell knife that we came out with last year. Um, yeah, this is one of my faves just because of the uh, finish on the knife. Um, we yes. had a green version. Mm -hmm. um, I was unable to get my hands on the green Those version. Those went fast. They did go fast. fast. Uh, we just actually placed a new order, a reorder for these and then an order for a blue version. Really? So this blue, we're going to get more blue? We're getting a blue. That's, um, that's cool. So I'm not, I haven't seen one yet. Mm -hmm. I haven't, the samples haven't come in. We just yeah. put in the order. But, um, yeah, so in we'll be future, getting... next yeah, year probably. We'll be getting a new version of this one in blue and then a restock of this uh, silver version here, so... That that mirror polished titanium that's pretty rare. I think yeah, it, it's us it's, maybe lion lion steel. I don't know that anyone else really does a polished titanium. Yeah, this one's got such a smooth action and you know deep pocket clip, real slim. Uh, I just I just really like the knife. I like the I like that they got the mirror polish with fluting on the blade. Yeah, I feel like that's hard to do. <laughs> well, and then you know VG10 steel. I mean, mm -hmm. you just it, it's a fantastic knife. Always it's interesting really that the that. the spine is rounded. Yeah, normally uh, it's kind of squared off. Yeah, they it, it's on, it's on the blade here. Yeah, it's definitely got a uh, a lot of cool little features to it. Um, trying to see if I can get you. You can't really tell the roundness in the in the camera shot. Yeah, but, uh, the, yeah the spine gonna, of the blade is rounded. We'll do a full video on that when the blue one comes out. Yeah, definitely. Uh, but yeah, so that's what I'm rocking today. All right, guys. That's going to conclude our rancher video here. We're going to put the I'm going to put the link to these guys in the description. As always, let me know what you think of the rancher, and um, let me know in the comments which AG Russell knife would you like us to overview next. We do look at those and try and uh, rank them on which one we're going to do next. And as always, thanks for watching. Have a good one.